Grant, we came into tonight with a three-game win streak and uh, playing a Milton team that actually going into tonight had um, three three wins in, in five games. So this was not a shabby team, and they showed it. No, no, they have balanced scoring. They have a balanced attack. Uh, they're a young group, and uh, uh, we did not take uh, their will to win away early in the game. So it was a, it was a difficult game right through the set. Started to take it over, got a 3-2 lead. And then it disintegrated fast on us uh, when we made three mistakes in a row. Buffalo did make a lot of uh, sloppy plays and passing attempts, and uh, it proved deadly, especially when it just when it looked like Buffalo was about to take the lead for the first time. Yeah, we just haven't been doing much of that lately in the middle of the ice. It's uh, a lot of our attack is is coming from the wall area, and we chip and chase, and uh, and we check the puck pretty well down low. We're, we're, we're in good shape, but. Uh, we decided tonight that uh, playing up at the blue lines, playing in the middle of the rink was important to us. And, uh, and we saw the result, which is a 6-3 loss. We're without the services of Andrew Podorowski for six to eight weeks with a broken ankle. Yep. Uh, clearly he's missed on the ice, but uh, how bad of a psychological factor is that to the rest of the players? Oh, I don't think it is. Uh, you know, Andrew is, uh, is one of those kids that, you know, get on my back and and we'll go down the ice and, and uh, try and score some goals. And he was learning in the last uh, probably 10 games that points are hard to come by in this league when the checking gets a little tighter and the attention uh, that he's been receiving, you know, gets focused on him. Uh, and uh, he's been very good about spreading the puck, working hard on the power play, got some penalty killing time. So he's learning all aspects of the game. And I feel terrible for him that he got injured. Um, and so we as a group have to understand that we have to move forward. And I think it wasn't really the injury and the fact that he got hurt last night in practice that, that hurt us. It was just, you know, overall mental mistakes and a uh, little lack of focus when, when we needed it most. Shane Bennett, of course, uh, stepped it up with, with two goals. And uh, Mark Arnone has, uh, in the past 10 games, been a scoring leader. So you do have guys that are ready to step up. Oh yeah, very much. I mean, uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not worried about our production. Um, it's just uh, when they want to be a little bit selfish, I mean, it just turns into bad things. So tonight, uh, it reared its ugly head a little bit. Looked like an early season game for us when, when in reality we're sitting at the 23 game mark and we shouldn't be playing like that. But you know, you have to take those games in stride. Uh, work hard in practice this week and, and hopefully uh, rebound with a good effort on Saturday. And you will have some time off between uh, tonight's game and Saturday in Brampton. And then you're back here on Monday night to, to host Orangeville. Uh, what do you anticipate you'll be working on most in between? Oh, I think it's the transition from uh, defense to uh, the attack. I think we, we weren't very good on that tonight. Um, we, uh, in the second period, uh, took the game over by chipping pucks down low and cycling. And uh, everything seemed to be going our way, and then we thought that everything was great, and then we decided that, you know, up at the blue line in those high-risk areas, uh, we lost three pucks in a high-risk area, and, and they seemed to go right in our net. So, you know, it's, that's not a great formula, but, you know, when we want to work down low, and it gets back to the point and we spread it and get the pucks back to the net, you know, we look like a pretty good team. Uh some hockey moms will be a bit upset, but uh, our scheduled Thanksgiving game uh, in Newmarket is is still on. Uh, yeah, yeah, Canadian team came up and played on Canadian Thanksgiving up here, so uh, it's one of those games that kind of snuck through the cracks on us in the schedule. Um, uh, you know, we didn't realize it until late, uh, and uh, Newmarket didn't have another date, but, you know, it is one of those things, you know, a lot of football games on Thanksgiving, so we'll travel in the afternoon. Hopefully the guys can have a Thanksgiving uh, you know, the next day or the day before, or maybe in the morning, I don't know, but it's just one of those things that happens and we'll uh, kind of roll with it.